right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we dive to this lesson, give it no honor, no glory, no praise due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Hakadash, Dabbana's great master, Ada, positive teacher, will, peace, salutations to the hopeful elect, the scattered broad, the light of the nation, Shalom, Shalom, and the Shalom to the Sir Akim, that's out there making a body, a living sacrifice, going out there in the highways, the Bibles, and hedges, proclaiming his truth and teaching 100% truth. Keep doing so to those may be. Shalom, shalom, and shalom to the sir. I give that's out there making a body. I live a sacrifice going out there the highways, byways, and hedges, proclaiming this truth and teaching 100% truth. Keep doing so to those may be. Shalom, shalom, and shalom to the sir. I quaffium that's out there resting their husbands, being a pillar of rest. Keep doing so to those may be. Shalom, shalom, and shalom to those that's tuning in to this video to be edified. Keep, keep doing so to get the edification. Yahweh, as being the heavenly father, which the word eagerly calls him God, which his name means in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, he is to exist. Bahashem, meaning the name of Yahweh Shai, being the begotten son of the heavenly father, which the word eagerly calls him Jesus the Christ, which his name means in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, he is to save, or to deliver. Who is he coming back to save and deliver? The children of Israel only. And Rakakadash, being the Holy Spirit, or Spirit Holy. So today's lesson is entitled. Remember, they shall say peace, the peace and safety. And the reason for this, because ever since Trump uh, won or is getting back into office, you know, you seeing all these so-called wars being called off or not being escalated further than what they are being, you know, and you know, you see right here, you read the titles, you know, uh, one of them. It says, Trump advises Putin not to escalate war with Ukraine. Trump ally, ally says Ukraine focus must be peace and not territory. You know, you got another one. Um, Netanyahu could take steps to end wars after Trump's win. You know, it says Hamas calls for end to war after Trump, uh, a Trump election win. You know, so you got uh, Trump has a choice of politically Palestine or in the war. So you got a lot of these articles and then a lot of these, um, these, these, a lot of news coming out about these wars ending and, you know, peace coming back into the earth, you know, which not too long ago, Trump was awarded. Trump. know there's a video out there I think that's it um let's see some See if um it speaks on it right here. Mm 
trying to find a, a speak song and calling him the king of peace or something like that. But nevertheless, if if I can't find it, um, basically, with all this being said, you know, we got a lot of these articles coming out about these wars being ceased or, you know, peace and all that. But you got to remember the scriptures say peace, that they shall say peace and peace and safety, you know. Now let's open it up. Let's get First Thessalonians 5. All right. Start at verse one. It says, but the times and the seasons that are in uh, the season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Right. And they, that's the whole point. That's why the Lord has got to set it up, set up like this, so you people can be in like your, your fun, your folly, your bullshit, you know, in the house of mirth, you know, because you're not gonna be giving, you're not gonna be paying attention to what's going on within the world, you know. You should question like all of a sudden when Trump is getting into office that these wars are abruptly ceasing, peace is being sought out, you know. Hey, there's not going to be no peace within this world, okay? So, let's go to show you, you had to question yourself like something ain't right. Because verse 3, For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden so destruction cometh upon them as travailed upon a woman with child. They shall not escape. Right. Remember, the, 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 these scriptures are going to be living out, you know. When they shall say, Peace and safety, and that's basically what it is. You know, peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them, all right? Because it's going to seem cool for the first couple of months, but then you're going to see a riot rile back up because, hey, the Lord is in control, all right? He want to catch you people off guard that's not paying attention. Once again, I bring this out all the time, you know. And this right here. Um... Luke 21 and 36, and the reason it says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of your man. Right. And that's the next scripture, actually. But the point is, you know, the I should, let me, matter of fact, since this is the next precept, Luke 21, that's the spirit. Luke 21 and verse 34. I'm going to start a, um, Uh, start at verse um, 30. When they should now shoot forth and ye see and know of your own selves that some are not now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of Yahweh is nigh at hand. All right? Because this is the things to be looking for the, um, in the last days because the Lord not going to tell you when he coming back. He going to put forth signs and wonders within the heavens bring to pass these prophecies, all right? And it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with sulfetting and drunkenness and the cares of this life, and so that that day come upon you under words. Right, and that day, you know, that sudden destruction, you know, you got Jacob's trouble, you know, you got all hell breaking loose and you gonna have them bring forth this MOT, the, 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 the chip, you know, and then ultimately be all World War Three and thermonuclear destruction. All right. And let's look at this word so fetting, okay, because this is what a lot of you people are doing. All right. So fetting means what? Overeating occurs when an individual consumes more calories in relation to the energy that is expended via physical activity or expelled via excretion. All right. An excessive amount of something, right? And when you go into the book of, um, let's get it, Ecclesiastes 3, or 7, actually. Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 2 is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the continence, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. All right. So the point is, you know, 
you people are overcharged and so fetting. You are over you you are overindulged in something that's not pertaining to salvation or indulge into something that's not pertaining to the scriptures, the truth, you know. You are busybodies and everything else except for the church the, this truth and these scriptures. Nothing wrong with enjoying yourself, having a good time every here and there, but you gotta remain focused on the task. That's why Yahweh Shah said, keep thy eye single. Okay, basically keep your eye on the prize. All right, because we know this, these things are going to happen. Going back into that first Thessalonians, let's get it again. First Thessalonians five. All right. First Thessalonians five, and it says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon them as a travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right. Because when you overindulge and you're not paying attention to what's going on, and then sudden destruction catch up with you and you not paying attention, then hey, it's going to, you ain't going to be able to escape because you chose not to pay attention. You was not watching, therefore, and praying, all right? So you can be able to escape all these things, all right? You, you keeping your mind focused, you'll be able to escape these things, all right? Verse 5, you are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not the light nor a darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober, all right? Because, hey, what did Yahweh Shah say or what did Peter say? You know, watch you there. For, uh, let me get it. Um, be there for so. Um, some good scriptures right here. You young, uh, for Titus two and six. Young young men be likewise. Young men likewise exhort to be sober minded. You know what does it mean to be sober minded? Meaning, hey, you paying attention to what the hell is going on. First Peter 4 and 7, but the end of all things is at hand, but be ye therefore sober and watch into prayer. All right, you got to be that, okay? Because if you're not watching into prayer and you know that sudden destruction is coming, you know, and just because they sin or uh, Netanyahu saying that he's going to cease fire and um, Putin is going to uh, create peace with Ukraine, don't believe none of that shit. You got to be able to see through the smoke and mirrors, all right? You got to be able to see through that, all right? Let's get uh, 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a warring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, right? So you, if you're not paying attention or watching, therefore, and praying, and you are overcharged and surfeiting, overindulging and folly, or overindulging in things that's not pertaining to this truth, you know, and you doing too much of having fun, then you going to be caught under words in that day. All right. So let's get the book of Luke chapter 17. All right. Luke 17 and verse uh, 26 to 30. Luke 17, 26 to 30. And the reason it says, as in a, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of, of the Son of Man. What was they doing in the days of son, adult Noah? All right, let's read it. Verse 27, they did eat, they drink, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. So when you look at that, that there's going to be the same energy that these people are going to be in. All right, not negating the scriptures, you know. Not paying attention, not watching into prayer, partying, having fun, having marriages, you know. And then that day coming could sweep them up like a flood. That's why it says, and the flood came and destroyed them all. All right, the same thing is here. All right, this time the Lord is coming back with fire. All right, and it says, likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that light went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. And that day, he which shall be um, um, upon the housetop and his stuff in the day, let him not come down and take it away. And, that, and he that is in the field, he likewise turn not back. Remember Lot's wife. All right? So... The point is, you know, if you in that spirit of mirth, you know, having fun, you know, you ain't paying attention to the scriptures, you ain't paying attention to the news, you know, what's, what's happening, 
then hey, that date is going to overcome you and take you, all right? Because you are overcharged and so affecting you overindulge in bullshit, all right? Uh, verse 33, whosoever shall seek his life to hit, whosoever shall seek, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And you're going to have that, you know, especially when they bring that chip. Man, I got to eat, bro. I got to, my kids got to eat, man. You know, my wife. Fuck all that. You know, you you you, you want to work out your salvation with fear and trembling, you know. Do you want to make it? You want to be destroyed by the thermonuclear missiles? All right. Do the work. Pay attention to what the hell is going on. Verse 34. Uh, continue on. Whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you that night... I tell you, in that night, there shall be two men in one bed, two men in one bed, the one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together and the one shall be taken and the other shall be left, the other left, all right? But the point is, you know, pay attention to what's going on. When they say, when you look at these articles, you know, how much calls for end of war with Trump election win, what else it says? Trump allies Ukraine focus must be peace in our territory. Trump, Trump advises Putin not to escalate war with Ukraine. You know, pay attention to that because this is soon going to backfire. All right. We don't know how soon, soon will it be with a backfire. We don't know. But we tell you this. Read Thessalonians 5. Tell you when they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction coming. All right. Let's get one more. First Peter. First Peter three. Verse um uh wait. Second Peter three Salakia. Second Peter three and verse one. This second epistle, beloved, I write. I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets in the holy in of the commandments of us apostles of us the apostles of the Lord and Savior knowing the first knowing this first that there, there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying where is the promise of his coming for since for fathers since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this, they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of Yahweh, and the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water, and in the, in the water, whereby the world that then was being then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, that which are now by the same word are kept in store, Reserve unto fire against the day of judgment and prediction of ungodly men. And hey, that's what's coming, man. You know, that, that fire. Because you people will be in ignorant, you know. You know, for this they for this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of Yahweh. All right. And they are drawn away after their own lust, not paying attention. And hey, that's why Yahweh Shai said in Matthew 13, chapter, blessed are your eyes and blessed are your ears until you is given the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. All right? Because this world is not going to get it. All right? We understand what's coming down this pipe. All right? And we got to continue to do what's important, the work. All right? You men, do the work. You know, you women, what are you supposed to do? Let's get it. We were just there. First Peter 3. Continue to do this. All right? First Peter three in verse six, even as Sarah obeyed her, obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well and not afraid with any amazement. All right. So the point is, you know, you men continue to do the work. You know, you women continue to obey your husband. All right. That's how you. That's how y'all do show y'all form of worship. All right. So. Going back to Second Peter three, three and verse um, three in verse um, um, eight. 
But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day with the Lord is a th as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but his long suffering to us were now willingly that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And basically talking about Israel, all right, because the whole, the Lord not calling for the whole world, all right, he's only calling unto the elect, all right. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also with the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be shall be dissolved, of what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And once again, that thief in the night, because that's how the Lord is going to come. And that's how these things are going to catch you people off guard by a thief, like a thief in the night, man. You ain't, you ain't expecting a thief to break up in your house. You in your peace. All right. You in your sanctuary. You in your home. You ain't expecting that shit to happen. All right. So you got to be always mindful and be watchful into prayer. All right. So, kind. So, Lord's will, this lesson is added fun to those who may watch, giving all honor, no glory, no praises due to Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shine, by Shemakakadash. Till next time, to next video, Shalom, Kamashorala, Bada Ball.